<laughs> the Last of Us is the story of Joel and Ellie, these two kind of very different survivors that are trying to make their way through a United States that has been ravaged by this pandemic, um, how they learn to trust each other over time, uh, and really wanted to see this evolution of this bond that they form over the entire course of the game. It's really shown itself to be a game about contrast in every way, from Joel's character being born before this pandemic hit and took out America as we know it, to Ellie being born after. So her viewpoint on the world is very different from Joel's to our art style and what we're going with the abandonment and what we know as the familiar, the everyday coffee shop that's now like flooded or overgrown. Another form of seeing contrast is we really want to show the best and worst of mankind. We want to show different factions, and each faction has their own way of dealing with the infection, the people who are infected, and the lack of supplies, and you're going to see people resort to really dark means of survival through killing and violence, and some people through more, I don't know, altruistic means of whether um, bonds can, that are like formed together, families reuniting or, or forming in this world, and um, you know, agricultural means of survival. Trying to bring society back, back to together. how we know it today. Mm -hmm. Something else we wanted to, to do with this game was bring, bring something from the genre, these other mediums, comics, uh, novels, and, and movies, like 28 Days Later, Children of Men, Walking Dead, Walking Dead, the comic, The Road, the Boy novel. The Last Man. Yeah, so these are things that Neil and I share a, a, a love for, really, and um, we found a great opportunity when we're kicking around the ideas for a new project at Naughty Dog. Um, to bring what we've learned in the Naughty Dog method of true character development and, and characters that resonate and have depth and conflict with each other and you feel that tension that Joel and Ellie are feeling and you feel that pressure being applied to them and, and, and you're with them moment to moment because you're there trying to survive just like they are. Ultimately what we want to do is evoke certain emotions from the player, from people playing this game. And the way we do that is by giving characters that have a lot of dimensionality, a lot of depth, so you could buy that they're real people that are forced to make these difficult choices. And part of the process of, of bringing these characters to life was casting uh, Troy and Ashley, I mean these two very talented actors that have imbued these characters with so much personality and emotional range. Uh, and the chemistry between these two actors, which then translate to the chemistry between these two characters. I mean, the kind of emotional themes we're dealing with with this game, like we've mentioned before, love, loyalty, um, sacrifice, you know, they're pretty hard themes, emotions to sell in any medium. Um, and for us, we feel like the only way we could really get into the, that, those kinds of emotions is if you buy into what's at stake for these characters. And that's kind of been why we have approached tension and violence on such a realistic level. That violence is, is to show you that there are real consequences. And of course, this plays into strategies. For the player, we're giving a lot more opportunities. It's probably one of the more system-based games that we're making here at Naughty Dog, if ever. So everything has weight, everything has consequence, and then that allows Joel and Ellie to create interesting choices, and that lets you as the player strategize differently throughout. Uh, Ashley is pretty violent. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been at least four times where she's hit another actor. Uh, one time in the audition, she actually almost got in a fight with one of like the actors. But the cool thing is because she really throws herself into Ellie. She really has become Ellie. And uh, actually, a lot of times when we're thinking about dialogue, it's like listening to Ashley and listening to how she speaks. And almost that gets directly translated to how Ellie speaks. When trying to cast Joel, this pretty tough character, you know, he's gone through, he's gone someplace really dark in his life uh, in order to become a survivor in this world. We went through a really long casting process. We saw like dozens of actors uh, and finally got this headshot of Troy, this like tall, handsome, skinny, really handsome. kind of beautiful guy. And uh, it's like, <laughs> is this guy going to be Joel? Um, and brought him in. But then he, we did the audition. He threw himself into the role. Uh, he auditioned against uh, Ashley and we knew that that was our Joel. プレイステーション